and welcome back to my channel so here I took thick pieces of cardboard four rectangle pieces uh, without any measurement I just want uh, I just had a view in my uh, mind how much length I want for this uh, telephone board so I took according to that I don't measure anything as you know me before I have said these things so I will start to do the detailings for this telephone board and um, I will be using um, the tissues, uh, rolled tissues over it, wet, I will be making them wet and then I will start to stick it over the draw lines but if you want you can use um, cardboard pieces as well. Uh, first I, I was thinking to use the cardboard stripes over uh, these draw lines to make like window type style for the booth but uh, the cardboard I was having at that time it was not in the good position and the end result was not coming nice it was rough edges so I was um, forced to use this uh, tissues roll but uh, if you have a good kind of cardboard thick one gray color you can cut that stripes that's easy and they will be holding the shape as well so you can go for that instead of using the tissues over here that stripe So all four sides are done. I let them dry completely so that it should go dry completely. So then I will be sticking it here with the paper tape for the time being. Then uh, I will be using the hot glue in this way. It's much easier to apply the hot glue between two cardboard pieces. So I was using this uh, paper tape over it first. Then I will be using the hot glue here on these uh, points. Then I took square pieces of cardboard, uh, a bit bigger than the size of the telephone board obviously because I didn't measure so I have to say it in this way. Uh, stick it on the bottom of um, the board first then we will be making the top one as well. Then I will be cutting some stripes with the cardboard because these are thick stripes so that was easy to cut it. but smaller than this uh, stripes were difficult to cut so I used the tissues instead of these cardboard pieces so here I will be making them stick over the roof on this part I will be cutting four equal parts in the exact same shape and then you know this piece of cardboard is very thin uh, there is no space to stick it over the other part of cardboard so I cut these stripes to stick it so it can hold easily the glue to stick it over the roof properly So this is how it looks like now and for covering these shapes I will be taking a soft piece of paper as well um, to cut it from the sides in almost the same shape uh, I cut it before but in this way it will be invert the shape 
so the edges of uh, this paper from four sides can go easily inside the roof the booth of uh, the part of the booth actually i hope you will understand what i'm saying once i will start to do it here you can see i insert these edges inside the those pieces to stick them from the sides from the corners and the leftover part which is open from this side i will be using the paper tape to stick them properly to cover them from all sides if it's open like this then here i took empty cup of uh, mcdonald's which i am going to use to make the dialer from this i will be cutting a round shape but from one side it's very uh, small and the other part will be a little bit big and once it's uh, stick on the booth you will see the exact shape i wanted to make like dialer should be not straight because the booth is already straight so it's difficult to see the numbers so i will be i cut this part in this way so the dialer can be a little bit upward from the bottom so it's easy to see the numbers here you can see the shape now then here i have this leftover cardboard piece from the paper tape extra cardboard so this is i'm going to cut it from the middle as well again to stick them to, uh, together to make it a little bit harder so it can hold the receiver on it Then here I have this glue, I didn't add uh, too much water in it, just few drops to make it a little bit uh, runny, not too much water. And then these craft papers I'm using to cover all of the telephone board with these uh, papers. You can use certain newspapers as well instead of this paper if you don't have. But uh, remember that do not use too much uh, runny glue, too much water in glue. Otherwise, you will mess it up and the cardboard of this silicon board will lose the shape. So I let it dry completely and here you can see it's done. It's completely dry now. Then this Now this rolling cardboard is going to be the receiver. I have to took two pieces of cardboard one is wider and the other one is longer so this long part i'll be sticking it together rolling it like this tight pipe and then the other part of the rolled cardboard i will be sticking it in the middle of this one to make it uh, receive it, it after it will be looking like a rolling pin so here on on the center of this cardboard first cardboard i will be rolling this second part Here you can see it looks like a rolling pin then these are the bulbs fuse bulbs from uh, the home obviously and uh, these are very beneficial for me because they are so cute so beautiful so and they don't work uh, for the long time as well so, the, so they go out fuse so fast and I use them for my any other projects so I will be taking this soft wire to roll it around these bulbs to stick it around this rolling pin to make the receivers so yeah this in this way because you know the bulbs are heavy but the cardboard is not so i have to stick this wire in a way that it can hold the bulbs properly the cardboard can hold the bulbs properly so here you can see it's so heavy and it's on the same place where i uh, stick it with the wire and this one is my homemade paper clay as I uh, have showed the tutorial for this I will be using this clay on the part of the wire so it can give some texture like embossing part after it get dry 
will be giving a vintage style look for the telephone booth as well and it will be holding the wire and covering the wire as well properly instead of using the newspapers or the paper on this part with the glue so clay is uh, going to give it more beauty after it get dry then here on top of this i'm making some more detailing for the receiver i made a ball with the uh, uh, same clay to stick it on the both sides of the receiver part to give it more looks of the receiver here you can see and then here on this part of the cardboard as well because it was open so I'm sticking the clay in a way that uh, it can give a one piece instead of looking it's cardboard or instead instead of giving the look of two pieces stick together so I use the clay in a way to make them looks like one piece then here is this thick piece of cardboard again uh, it's very heavy which I'm going to stick it on the bottom as well again for um, the stableness of the booth because the receiver is heavy so you have to put something heavy on the bottom of the telephone booth so it can hold the receiver properly then here is this uh, acrylic paint extreme red dark color acrylic paint which I'm going to color all of this uh, this part of the telephone with the red color big paint which I'm going to color then I will be using some parts of the red color on some parts of the receiver I will not be coloring all the receiver with the red uh, because I have to use golden um, bronze acrylic paint to give it looks uh, some vintage style so on this rest of these receiver parts I'm coloring it all with the golden acrylic paint and on top of this I will be using a black acrylic paint to make them look dull here you can see once the clay got dry it gave the texture instead of having smooth part from the top it's uh, giving some texture and uh, then in this way it's looking nice for me I like it in this way if you want to keep it as it is plain color golden you can do it so here you can see I have finished it and this black cardboard piece it was from the shoe box it was already black and smooth part of the shoe box uh, uh, cartoon box so I decided to use this part and I applied some black and golden acrylic paint on top of this to make it also looks like bronze like receiver and then this is the craft form which I am going to use to make the dialer buttons and the other rectangle piece of the craft form I'm going to write on a telephone so I'll be sticking the buttons on the dialer I'm going Then with a very tiny uh, brush, I'm using golden acrylic paint to write the numbers on the dialer. So now here on a piece of paper I'm drawing a crown which I was not good at all in making small tiny stuff I'm really not good at all uh, so I tried my best to make a crown shape so after I put it under the glass and then I'm taking this hot glue to draw over the drawn uh, crown then next it got dry and 
I am using it now to color it with the golden acrylic paint then I will be sticking it over this part. Yeah, hot glue got dry at the same time actually. I mean I was doing the next step in the next morning. So here is this wire extra one. So I will be I have made a hole into this part where I apply the clay on receiver. Then I will be using some hot glue and stick the wire inside here and then the other part on the other booth here on this part I made the hole as well and then I will be using the hot glue to stick them proper. So I loved it. I actually made it for the purpose to use it at my home to put it in guest room as um, decor and vintage style looks. So I was so happy and this took me almost four days to complete because I was giving attention for each and every part of this telephone board and I'm totally happy and uh, the result is amazing. The receiver is so beautiful and it's heavy as well and uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please uh, share my videos and take me to 200k subscribers at least so i can get encouragement from uh, seeing my subscribers are increasing and i can bring more new ideas for uh, everyone so thank you so much for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video bye for now more new ideas